CO2 perplexes a lot of people, perplexes me in some ways. Uh, I'm going to show you how I add CO2 into all of my aquariums. And I'm going to tell you something, you can replicate this for under $10, okay? Maybe different than some of the information you see out there about needing tanks and regulators and bubble counters and this is and that is and don't need any of it. Okay. Um, tell you why that happens or why I, and I just want you to understand a retailer wants to make money, right? So they are going to rather sell you Exp an expensive piece of equipment than give you just information on how to do it for free. So just be aware of that. And there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Retailers sell equipment. It's what they do. Uh, what I don't like at all are just the uh, plants that are sold out there. That just they're not aquatic plants. They're they're grown in greenhouses. They're shipped to, uh, you know, who, who knows how many times it's been shipped, how many times it's been immersed and submersed uh, in between there. That's what bugs me because people will then spend hundreds of dollars on equipment and then start bu buying these cheap, cheap ass plants. And then a couple weeks later it dies and or all their plants are dead and they think they, that plants are impossible to keep so anyway if you want a good plant buy my plants they're all aquarium grown aquarium grown plants may cost a couple dollars more but <laughs> they ain't gonna die on you and you don't have to buy them two three four times like uh, some of the plants you're looking at even in this tank all right so how do I add co2 into my tanks I want you to note this uh, container right here I add co2 into that so first uh and what it is is just a juice bottle you can use two liter soda bottles one liter soda bottles little water bottles little tiny cups bowls you name it if it will just hold a bubble you can add co2 into your tank all right and you can skip all that tank co2 tank stuff and whatnot you can buy a product of compressed air this is wd-40 i don't have any of the compressed co2 it's not compressed air it's compressed co2 which i'm referring to again this is wd-40 i just wanted to it's just a aerosol can that that co2 comes in it used to be sold as a keyboard cleaner much like this and you would just spray the keys of your keyboard off i don't know if they sell those with co2 in them anymore but you can buy cans of compressed CO2 for between five and 10 bucks, okay? So what you'd then just do is, uh, you know, for instance, a lot of times I'll have a bottle up on my center frame like this because it will just hold it there in place then. And then you just take your compressed CO2 and the reason I grabbed the WD-40 here is it just had this little extension on it like those cans have. So just pretend that's a can of CO2 and then you just put whatever container you have in there and then you just get this in there. And then, you know, this would have water and then just fill it with CO2. And I'm gonna do it to this here. So you're, you will see this. Um, so again, just uh, this would have water and then just put your CO2 in there and just displace the water. And then you have a bubble of CO2 in there. And I, I really don't have fish or anything uh, bother with it, even with the lid off. All right. So I'm going to fill this with CO2, but I just want to say a few things about CO2. Like I said, you can use virtually any container. Even an open bowl will work, just as long as it will hold a bubble in your water. Um, you may want... To you know, sometimes they can sink and whatnot. So, you know, this here, you can see some zip ties holding it to the center frame. You know, like a, a, a soda bottle and stuff tends to stay in place if the water is high enough. So, 
there's really not a wrong way to do it. Just put any container in there and fill it with, with uh, the CO2. The other things I wanted to note is um, you can do these without the lid. Uh, I, you know, in this obviously have the lid on it, but what I do is I just put a hole on the, in the lid so I can place my uh, airline into it. And then I just drill a hole on this side, which is the bottom. And then I will just fill this with the CO2 and you're going to see it happen right here. But just my point is, is you can use these bottles, any number of configurations, and you can actually uh, add CO2 in fairly dependable amounts just by uh, how you place your container. You know, like pressure uh, pulls will pull the CO2. And what is happening is it's a slow diffusing from the bubble into your water. So having a larger opening, uh, having it deeper in the aquarium or having more water flow near the opening will increase the CO2 that leaks into your tank. Uh, I have fairly small hole here, but uh, I have two of them. Point is, is try it with a lid, without a lid, just see which works best for you. Um, you know, obviously if you have a 10 gallon tank and you're doing this, you don't need much CO2 or a very big hole. And, you know, this is a 75 gallon. So that's why I just use a larger container. All right, I'm gonna fill this thing up. I'm gonna get in front of the camera here, but I just wanna note that, uh, or I want you to know that I am using a, uh, a uh, a uh, container of CO2 down here, a, uh, <laughs> a steel, uh, uh, a canister. But like I said, a uh, just the aerosol can will do the same thing. So I just have a, this on a tank because it's easier for me. All right, I'm filling up my CO2. Just turned it on. It's displacing the water with CO2. Like I said, my, this doesn't bother my fish or my shrimp or anything. I can actually put the bottle in with the lid off upside down, right? To where fish can go in there and never happens. I don't know why you think things would like gulp that air and die, but it doesn't happen. So you'll see the CO2 bubbling out the bottom now. So it's just full of CO2. So I will just turn my air back off. So CO2 made easy. Virtually any container that will hold a bubble and get yourself some CO2. And you can get a can of compressed air or CO2 for five to $10. Another nice way to uh, obtain your CO2 are those uh, like Airstream bottles, like the soda uh, making machines, the little cartridges. Uh, you can find CO2 out there. Just just Google the sources. All you really need is, is a way to turn it on and off. Like my tank down here has a simple uh, on off type regulator on it. I just click it on. Once it's full, I turn it off. So virtually any source of CO2, as long as you can uh, turn it on and off a little bit. So it doesn't have to be this bottle. Like I said, it can be a, um, for a paintball gun or a soda making machine, they use CO2. So just find something that you can uh, just turn on and off and then fill your container with CO2 and you are off to the races, that's it. All right, hope you enjoyed this.